Hello everyone, welcome to ST Model Cars. In this video, I would like to show you this 118 scale Porsche GT3 RS made by Minichems. Uh, price point on this $110 shipped from Germany to the US. Uh, this is the uh, sealed version. Uh, Minichems released uh, 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 different versions of the 992 Porsche and some of them are full opening diecast and some of them are sealed. So this is the sealed version. Uh, they're you know a little bit cheaper than the fully opening uh, from either Noref or from Minichems, and I just want to you know I bought the seal uh, just because I well number one there was a sale uh, at the CK model cars uh, on on this car, and number two I just want to see how good the sealed models uh, are actually from uh, Minichems. Uh, okay, uh, so this is the um, it has the Waysach package. Right, uh, so it has the uh, the top of the mirror has that carbon fiber, and here's the carbon fiber accents uh, on the on the front, uh, and you know. So yeah, this car is supposedly uh, limited. The, this color combination with this uh, this red and this uh, uh, gray wheels are supposedly limited to three hundred uh, units uh, production. Uh, I don't know if this will ever be a collect uh, collectible item. Uh, but I figure I'll, I'll, I'll buy one while the price is still reasonable. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the car and I'll get the turntable out of the way. But before I uh, review this car, I just want to show you just for a quick comparison. Here's the Nora version of the uh, GT3, but this is not the RS. So this is the regular uh, GT3. And you can see, you know, it's a lot less aggressive uh, compared to the uh, RS version, right? It doesn't have that, you know, uh, that, that extra uh, big spoiler. It just doesn't have the adjustable uh, spoiler, right? It still have that swan neck spoiler design, right? But much uh, more subtle. Um, so, in, you know, you can see the review of this uh, Noref uh, version, uh, the, the GT3, the non-RS. Uh, I'll post the link in uh, the description uh, if you want to check it out. But here it is, there's just a quick uh, comparison shot here between uh, the car on the left is the Noref uh, GT3 uh, full opening and the car on the right is the Mini Gems GT3 RS uh, sealed. Okay, so in this video, let's take a closer look at the Mini Gems. Uh, okay, so start from the front. Um, headlight details, uh, pretty good. Right, you know, you have uh, behind the lenses, uh, you have the uh, in the in the center, you have the LED pro LED projectors, right, and then you have the four point daytime running light uh, surrounding it. Okay, uh, if you look at the hood here, uh, the carbon fibers are really nicely applied. Uh, you know, and this is uh, true to the real car, right, to the Waysa package here. Um, you know, and then you have this uh, diffuser here uh, on the front, right? Got the Porsche logo. And if you look at the front grille, right, um, this is actually perforated. Uh, if you look at this, the grille here uh, on the bottom, right, and you have a, you know, the, the turn signal here are, are actually separate lenses, right. So, go. So it has a front view uh, of the uh, the Porsche uh, GT3 RS. Okay. So here's a side view of the uh, the Porsche, right. And with the GT3 RS, you know, this is just very aggressive, right? You know, you have a lot of this, uh, kind of like this diffuser, you have the details here. And then behind the front wheels, right, you know, you have this uh, skirt, I guess, right? If you look at it on the side and, you know, you have the cutout on the body, uh, you know, and, you know, you can see that this is, this is all exposed, right? You can see the, you know, part of the front wheels from the back here. Uh, so again, it's just very, very aggressive design. Um, the neat, the really, really neat thing about this car is, if I can zoom this a little bit, look at the details on the tires, right? Uh, you can s uh, see it says Michelin Cup 2, right? And then it has the tire size as well. Uh, you know, it says Michelin there, and you know, uh, 275, 35 CR20. And you know, uh, this is staggered setup, right? So if you look at the, the back here, uh, this is wider, uh, 335, uh, 30 ZR21. Uh, so again, really nice uh, wheel and tires details. Uh, you can also see the brake calipers and the rotors uh, behind it, right? But again, it's just you know I, I think even though this is a sealed model, it just you know it's uh, it just looks really nice, and the shelf presence on this is is great. Okay, um, 
Okay, so unfortunately, it's really kind of hard to look at the interior, just again, because this is a sealed model. But I'll do my best here, see if I can uh, zoom this in a little bit and, you know, uh, maybe shine some light here that doesn't reflect too much, right? So it's just a standard uh, uh, 911 interior, uh, pretty much all black. Uh, however, if you, uh, this is hard to see, but if you look at the headdress, uh, you know, they have some, uh, some lettering there, uh, right there. You see, it says a uh, wayside package there, uh, right? Okay. And, you know, and there's a really nice uh, kind of like a cloth uh, detail uh, pattern on the seats. Okay. So there's the interior. Um, uh, the, the roll cages, right? They, they give you this uh, roll cages that you can see uh, from behind the tinted windows. This is originally black, but I painted it red. So I, 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 I took the car apart. I opened up the car and I painted the, uh, the roll cages red. I just want to showcase that a little more, right? You know, since this is pretty much a full-blown race car, okay? Um, <clears throat> so on the back here, uh, there's a couple interesting things that we can look at. Uh, first of all, the spoiler here, uh, this backside is adjustable. So, you know, you can adjust the angle of that spoiler, uh, which is pretty neat. And if you put it in this angle, and if you look at it from the back, you can see the Porsche lettering uh, in the carbon fiber right there. Okay. And then uh, these two covers here, uh, you, this is magnetically attached, so you can actually remove it. See, I, you know, I'll, I'll use my pointer here. Um, let's see, let's shine some light, you know, so you can see. Uh, access points there, right? And also on this side as well. So let me see if I can pop that open. Mm, it's a bit, this is a bit tight, hang on. There you go. So you can open that as well, right? And again, they're just magnetically attached. Um, okay. All right, so here's the uh, driver's side. Uh, View the side view of the GT3 RS, right? And see if we can take a peek inside, uh, you know, uh, the interior with the light shining behind here. There you go. So you can see that, you know, they, they have all the cluster printed there. You got the steering wheel with all the buttons, right? Uh, center console. Again, it's too bad this car is sealed because the interior details are just really, really nice. And also, if you look at the roof, uh, they also have the carbon fiber applied there, uh, just really neatly applied. So, okay. All right. So overall, uh, even though this is a sealed model, I really like it. Um, like I say, it has a great shelf presence. It looks very aggressive, and you know, you save a little bit of money uh, versus going the full opening. But whether the savings is worth worth it or not, you know, versus going uh, a full opening diecast, that's that's for you to uh, to decide. Uh, but yeah. If you have any comments, suggestions, uh, questions, uh, feel free to put them in the comment section. Uh, much appreciated if you can uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoy the review of this uh, 911 GT3 RS. Um, I will see you in my next video and thanks for watching.